The Q presents On the Ground. I'm Lisa Martin with theCUBE, and we are on the ground at the Computer History Museum in Silicon Valley with the Association for Corporate Growth, or ACG. Tonight is the ACG's 12th annual Grow Awards, and we're fortunate to be joined now by one of the sponsors of the Grow Awards, Peak C. Joining me is the head of product marketing and strategic business development, Satish Bhargava. Satish, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you very much, it's a pleasure to be here. Excellent, well, we're excited to have you. So you have expertise in storage and cloud and software development. Talk to us about Pixie's involvement with ACG. What makes uh, the ACG unique for Pixie to be so involved with? Sure, so there's, the, there's really ideas and people. Uh, ACG is a forum where you have people from startups or very young companies, as well as uh, growth companies and established companies as well. So it's a, it's a really good forum to bring all these ideas, talk about the topics of the day, talk about interesting ideas for the future. And then the other thing, of course, is you meet people who potentially would be your partners, your investors, uh, potentially a source of talent for the company. Uh, so it's a really interesting mix of things that uh, makes ACG valuable to us. Excellent, and, and I love that you said that the interesting mix there. Obviously quite buzzy here at the event tonight. One of the things that's exciting about being in this in this room is all of the senior technology expertise and leadership that we see here. Give us some examples of some of the things in terms of like networking and talent acquisition that you found personally gratifying about being a sponsor of ACG. Uh, yeah, sure. So it's, it's of course, it's a, it's a market where highly, highly uh, skilled people are very valued. This is a forum where people come. So just through the interaction and networking, uh, you, you run into people that know other people, and so there are examples like that. Excellent, and that's one of the greatest things about being in Silicon Valley, is the network and the relationships that you can build. So tonight's winners, we have uh, Fitbit winning the 2016 Outstanding Growth Award. We also have Amberella winning the Emerging Growth Award. As we look at clearly the incredible growth trajectories they've been on, Looking out two or three years, what are some of the market drivers that you see that are going to influence the Fitbit and Amberella businesses? Sure, so Fitbit of course is well known for uh, personal monitoring types of devices. So if you look in the future, it's not so much about adding different types of devices like watches. Uh, there's a trend towards uh, materials that are integrated with sensors. Uh, integrated wearables and different types of materials. So an example would be like Nike, where you're picking up information about temperature and so on. So that's a market trend that probably is important to Fitbit. Another piece would be Fitbit is collecting a lot of information about people and, for example, sleep habits. Uh, but I think importantly, so there's a lot of collection of big data, but at the same time, there's an opportunity probably to make sense of all of the data and provide guidance to the person who's using a Fitbit. So for example, when's the best time for you to go to sleep so that you get the best sleep? You can be the most alert in the morning. Um, another thing would be that as baby boomers age, they're very much interested in using these types of devices to better themselves and to lead healthier lives and longer lives. And the other flip side of that is with the measured type of personal um, uh, measurements that you get, uh, it's possible also to work with health insurance companies, as an example, where people can monitor their health and do a better job of, of, of uh, essentially leading healthier lives and maybe reducing uh, uh, health premiums down and so on. Uh, so there's really maybe an emerging business opportunity other than the consumer piece. In the case of Umbrella, uh, as I understand it, and I'm not an expert in the subject, however, they are a system on a chip type of company that does video processing. And their largest customer in the past has been GoPro, and of course GoPro has suffered some hiccups in the marketplace. Uh, so from the standpoint of Umbrella, of course, uh, the idea is how do you take this high density video and how do you apply it to many different use cases? And one of them might be the emergence of drones, uh, where you have uh, of course, it's, it's just starting out, although it's very much in the public domain right now. People are very interested in drones, but essentially that could be a market opportunity for them to try to target. 
another would be if you look at the way television is broadcast, um, there, there's the classic television broadcasting system, but more and more people are, are using, especially younger people, are using streaming devices that might require other kinds of video processing. So that might be another market opportunity for them. And then a third one might be this whole augmented reality, virtual reality piece, the very interesting types of applications. And the last one I'll say is that I just came from an IoT type of conference, Internet of Things, and if you look at what they do, they're capturing video. And so that might be part of the entire constellation of things that happen with IoT. So these are some of the drivers that I would say. Excellent, thank you Sajid. So tremendous amount of opportunity that we, we see here and we feel every day in Silicon Valley. Satish Bhargava, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much, Lisa. I appreciate the opportunity. Excellent, and with that said, I'm going to thank you for watching theCUBE. I'm your host, Lisa Martin, and we'll see you next time.